Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to test out the Morphe foundation. I've never used this before, but I did get it sent over from Cult Beauty. So thank you so much, Cult Beauty. They do stock this if you're interested. I have these two shades here and I'm hoping one of them... Uh, what? I was gonna say match and then fix and it just came together as Mitch. So I mean, I'm gonna hope one of them matches me. It's meant to be a full coverage matte foundation, which is totally up my street. I do like matte foundations, but I don't like drying foundations. There's a fine line between matte and super drying on your face. So I hope this is not too drying, but I do like a matte foundation with my oily skin. So I'm gonna start by swatching each shade. I'm gonna start with the lightest one, which is F3.1, F3.100. So it does come in a squeezy tube and I'm just gonna squeeze some of it out yeah this one does look a bit light so I don't know if it oxidizes I'm just gonna leave that to sit for a little bit and see if it does oxidize the other shade that I have is f4.20 I believe they have like 60 shades in this foundation so trying to narrow it down online was just a mission so I'm hoping this one looks pretty good for me actually yeah this one's looking pretty promising it does look very warm undertoned but it is kind of the closest to my skin tone or do you think I should mix I think I'm going to start with this one and if it dries down super dark I can always add a little bit of that one into it I have no idea how much to start with but from everything I've heard about this foundation, it's very full coverage. So I'm just gonna start with that much and I'm gonna use a brush. And this is the Spectrum B01 brush. It's just like a flat top kabuki brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. Okay, so it spreads really well, like evenly. It's quite a warm color. I'm hoping it doesn't oxidize because I can't get much more orange than this very full coverage from what I can tell because I didn't use tons of it but it has covered a lot of my face a lot of my face I meant a lot of my scars I'm gonna try do a wear test with this foundation as well so it is now 10 26 so let's say 10 30 in the morning that I'm putting this on let's see how long we can wear it for today it has already dried down matte i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but i can definitely see it's no longer like wet and liquidy it has dried down matte already the shade's not too bad but it is i think once i get my under eye concealer on i don't have the morphe concealer unfortunately but yeah so far so good love the matte finish not too drying on me bear in mind i don't have any dry patches and i do tend to get very oily throughout the day so this type of finish is very nice it doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup so it doesn't feel cakey or heavy it's really lightweight but it has a gorgeous matte finish so so far so good I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side so you can see from side to side it has covered really well it does smell a little bit like paint like it doesn't have a fragrance which I don't mind I'd rather it have like a not strong chemical smell but not like a strong fragrance floral type of smell if you know what I mean let me get up close for you guys so this is how we are looking. I feel like it's sitting on the skin really, really nicely. Lightweight, looks really good. I like it so far. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and complete the rest of my face, like concealer, eyeshadow, all of that good stuff, and I'll come back and show you guys my final look. Okay guys, so I'm back, so my full face is complete. It did take a little while because I was filming Instagram videos, TikTok videos, all of that good stuff. So it is now 10 past 12 in the afternoon, and this is what we are looking like now. I have had to touch up one time already, because um, my makeup's been done for like an hour now, but I've just been like faffing around and you know, doing stories and TikToks and stuff like that. But I did have to go in with a little brush and a tiny bit of translucent powder and just powder down this area near where my pores are it was starting to get a little bit dewy nothing too crazy it wasn't super oily but it was looking I do like this look of like matte skin so anytime I see a little bit of shine I'm just like oh no no <laughs> but it definitely wasn't anything crazy but I just thought I would let you guys know it is still looking pretty flawless on the coverage side I used the Jouer essential high coverage concealer um, underneath my eyes and then I went ahead and set it with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. Maybe this powder is not super mattifying. That's why I had like a little bit of oil coming through. I'm not too sure. But so far, it is a good foundation to me. Like I don't, like I said, I don't have any dry patches for it to cling to. And it's just sitting really nicely on my face. It doesn't 
look too heavy doesn't look too cakey i even looked at it in natural daylight in my bathroom and it just looked flawless like my pores are barely visible and it just looks like a really really nice finish so yeah what do you think of this look if you like the eye look it will be on my instagram um as a video and then just in case you're curious on my lips i went in with the bobby brown oil infused gloss in slow jam so that is what is on my lips so i'm gonna go about my day and i'll check in with you guys later to let you know how the foundation is doing i'm not gonna touch up from now on so yeah okay guys my I'm back so it is now 4 p.m in the afternoon just got back from picking up twins so i thought i would give you guys a update before i take this all off so i put this foundation on at 10 30 this morning so it's been nearly six hours and that's typically how long i would wear uh makeup for anyway and this is how we are looking so we are getting a little bit like dewy in my oily areas but it's nothing crazy and the foundation is not starting to break up which is always a plus i think the coverage is definitely still there maybe it's wearing away a little bit on my jawline but that could be because of you know resting and stuff like that but overall I feel like it is a good foundation I would definitely still use it again even though my oils are starting to break through it does look like a healthy glow so far me personally I would touch up at this stage just with a little dab of translucent powder and just dab over the oily areas but some people do like that glass skin dewy look this is that kind of uh, glow the tail of my eyebrows starting to come off as well because my hair's been like rubbing on it all day I've lost a couple nails today as well it's just been very eventful but yeah the foundation hasn't settled into any lines on my face it, it just looks really good to be honest guys with a little bit of oil blotting paper this could definitely still go for another couple hours without breaking up and looking weird it looks really good still guys so I'm actually really impressed let me know your thoughts on this foundation I know a lot of people say it is too dry for their skin but if you have oily skin like me girl it might just be the one for you because it has controlled my my oils compared to if I was to put on like a dewy or natural finish satin finish foundation I would have a lot more oil coming through than this so yeah I really like it I would definitely use it again the shade match is definitely good for me so yeah let me know your thoughts down in the comment section guys do you have this foundation are you interested in trying the foundation all of that good stuff please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know if there's any other foundations you want me to try because I know a lot of people tend to have dry skin I don't know why but I don't see many people testing foundations that have oily skin every video I watch is always like yeah I have dry skin it's clinging to my dry patch and I'm like <sighs> but anyways enough rambling from me guys I'll catch you in my next one take care bye